guys, say hello, everybody. This Hi. is Columbia University. Okay, I, they're, they're just, this is all of Columbia University <laughs> right here. <laughs> Tell us about your scavenger hunt. Go backstage of a Broadway show. Bonus points if performers sing on stage with you, with your group to Old Blue Eyes, New York, New York. Okay. Yeah. So Sarah Chase is here to help me, and we're going to sing New York, New York with the, the students from Columbia. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. You guys don't know it? Star <laughs> Spread. Thank you. Da, 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 da. I'm leaving today. There you go. I'm glad to be a part of it. New York, New York. Skip to the end. I want to wake up in a city that doesn't sleep. I have not warmed up this morning yet. And find the king of a hill. Come on, Kevin, come in. Top of the heap, those little town blues. I thought I'd skip to the end, but I didn't. Are melting away. It's up to you. Go, New Hey York, New York. Bonus points. Yay! All right. Saturday morning. I mean, it's technically afternoon, but for actors, it's basically morning because it's um, any time before 4 o'clock. It's like morning for us. Um, and we all need a little pick-me-up. So I'm going to do a little Billy on the Street ambush style because some very controversial activities were happening in the entertainment industry this week with Ben Affleck being chosen to play Batman. Um, so uh, Twitter has been a buzz. Everyone has been a buzz. So I'm going to see what the uh, cast of First Date thinks about this like very dire controversy. Okay, so come with me. Ambush time. Oh, ambush time. Kevin Kern, what do you think of Ben Affleck as Batman? Um, Her, I'm not, your thoughts? I'm not, I'm not as uh, upset as most people Good. are. Good. Magnolia, what do you think about Kevin? I mean, uh, Ben Affleck as Batman. Tell me what you think. What? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> what do you think? Ben Affleck as Batman. Uh, no opinion? No opinion. <laughs> Guys, what do you think of Ben Affleck as Batman? Tell me your thoughts. Oh my god, don't get out of here. <laughs> okay, that. Gary is really upset about I'm it. Very upset. Okay, very no, upset. Laura's upset about it. Yeah. What do you think, Andrea? Uh well we'll I see. But we'll see. Not good. We're not I have sure. One word for you. Uh oh. Daredevil. Daredevil. Hey. hey. Great comic book. Who has not made a bad movie throw the first stone? Okay. George what do you Clooney. think? Blake? I've never made a bad movie. I have never made a bad movie. I love Ben Affleck. <laughs> Okay, good. And I'll I love see Darko. Batman suit. Sarah Chase, we're ambushing. Oh ben my god, I'm not eating a blondie. <laughs> ben Affleck is Batman. What do you think? Your thoughts? I don't follow politics. <laughs> Zachary Levi, your thoughts? Ben Affleck is Batman. Go. Rock and roll. <laughs> nice. I think good for him and good for Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they weighed that decision heavily. Saturdays for uh, first date. We have two shows today, and we have two shows tomorrow. So we've we've only done half of our total shows by this day. So we're re we're raring to go. We're getting ready. Um, I I wanted to show you a little something. We had a very special fan come to the show the other day, and um, he's really sweet. And his name was Zachary, and he's a um, he's an art student at FIT, and he's studying to do set design. And so as a gift to us, he made us this really cool picture which I think is really awesome. I'm gonna show you. He asked us to put it in our bathroom because it's a shared space. But he drew this picture of us and if you look really closely, it's all made out of hearts. Can you see that? Every bit of this is little hearts shaded in different sizes and different textures. And it's really cool. And he was a really sweet kid and he watches the vlog and we love him for it. So we wanted to give a shout out to Zachary and it's up in our bathroom. I'm going to get a frame for it eventually, but um, right now it's held up by tape and it's right next to our ducky picture, which is what you wanted. So um, thanks for that. Hi guys. Okay. This is hilarious by the way. So we're in Blake's dressing room. And um, hello, he hello. has only two chairs, <laughs> the one that he sits on to do his makeup and the one that he sleeps on. So I'm going to sit in that one. <laughs> <laughs> She's I I don't like Land of the Giants. Ooh, my little pet crystal. This is making we're a little delirious. This is our fourth <laughs> show this weekend. That's in right. Two days, and so um, this is making me giggle. This might make me giggle the whole show. I might. Well, that's good. Might, and I'm gonna eat my salad because tell us about our our Sunday schedule. Yeah, we have a three o'clock matinee, and then we're through about quarter to five. And then we go out and like Seven. sign autographs uh -huh. for 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
then PT for 20 minutes. Right, and grab food. Grab food, and then, and then we have like, a seven o'clock. We have a show in 55 minutes. Yeah. So, it, so it's pretty quick. Blake is really generously giving his tiny time for um, this interview. But my the, tiny time. The Twitter folks are a buzz. They want to know things about you, Blake. So, so here we go. Well, first of all, I want to talk to you about this. So, they all saw you get the gypsy robe. Yeah. And filmed it. And Which is here in my room. Which is here in the room. We'll show it to you. Tell us about, um, like, so tell me about that experience. Like, tell me about, like... Well, it was overwhelming, actually, because we weren't supposed to have one, right? Right. Did you have any inkling it was coming? Not a clue. Because Not Blake one. spends some of this show off stage. She's, like, one of the few people that can go off stage. And um, so he hangs out in wardrobe all the time. I do. And that's where we made it. So we were constantly trying to hide it. I walked in there one time with all the patches. You don't know this. And I was like, I got the, can I borrow a pair of scissors? Because you were saying. <laughs> this is a question that I think is, is interesting for the industry. Uh, Chad Campbell, 26, says, Blake, have you ever done double duty? What's that like? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Double duty is exhausting. It's when you're doing a show and then you're rehearsing for another show during the day. The worst one I ever did was we we were, I had gone back into Hairspray on Broadway. Uh-huh. And Playing. Uh, I was standing by for Edna and Wilbur because mm -hmm. Harvey was going back to close to close right. it. Mm -hmm. And they decided they would allow me to do I was going to do Minsky's oh, right. in January in California. Mm -hmm. Well, it was six full weeks of double duty. Oh, I mean, I closed God. Hairspray on a Sunday and then flew to LA Mondays, right? 10 out of 12s on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So I did six weeks of double duty. Blake, I loved you in Adam's Family and First Date. How do you always wow. make everyone laugh in your roles? You're so funny. That's so sweet. That's Who's a, that from? Um, Alicia rocks. Well, Alicia, you do rock. Yeah, she does. That's a very sweet thing to say. You know, character actors, well, we play funny roles a lot of times. Mm -hmm. He's a funny guy, so I it do helps. enjoy laughing. Yeah, right? That's probably it. Yeah. You enjoy laughing. I do. So you want to make other people laugh. Well, you know, too. I also think this may sound as stupid as anything, but <laughs> this business to me, we're so fortunate to be in it and mm -hmm. to enjoy it and to have a good time with it. It's a shame to go to work and not enjoy yourself. Right. You know, when... What's the point? Uh, when I, people that would be, I don't mm -hmm. know, give a lot of their self up of their lives to do what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So I try to have a good time every day. Leave leave the baggage at home. I mean he wears a tuxedo t shirt. Well this is I dressed up for Christmas <laughs> <laughs> Mike Rose says, does anything thing, anything seem to be similar in all the shows that you've been in? You find yeah, you know, thread? it's well there not all of them obviously, there's a lot of shows, but I will say this. I have some themes that are kind of weird. Like moons. Like yeah. there's a there's a big moon at the end of the show. There's a I sing Adam's to the moon family. in Adam's mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. I was it did um, on the town in the park with the big moon every night. Mm -hmm. You know. Then also like I've done a lot of did shows you ever where show your butt on stage because that would be a moon. I've never been give, I've never given a full moon. <laughs> never done a full moon. No. Okay. Well, no full Monty. Maybe that's coming next. Maybe that's the yeah. Maybe exactly. that's the next moon. And then also oddly enough, pigs have been. I played. Did pigs in the show? Not in this one, oh. but I played a warthog in mm -hmm. in in um, Lion, King. Lion King. I did when pigs fly off Broadway. I played Alexander Woolcott, who carried a stuffed pig for real in life. Oh, okay. Um, I did Wilbur in Charles Strauss's Charlotte's Web, which but is But you also a played Wil. Wait, no, is Wilbur? It was also yeah, at Tracy Dad. Yeah, who's the big name? It's it just kind of little. There's a little pig theme. Do How's your salad, it's darling? It's good. I'm going to put more dressing on it. All right. I'm a it's been a pleasure meat. talking with you. Yes, thank you for doing this. Yes, happy blogging. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye and stuff. All right, we're heading downstairs because today is Kate Lopress's 30th birthday. And so we have what we call the birthday club. I'm going to try to talk to you while I walk down the stairs. We have the birthday club. So whoever has their birthday, they buy a cake for the next person's birthday, and then we all go downstairs a half hour and sing them. I always have my camera out. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Sarah Chase. It was Sarah Chase's birthday last, so she bought the cake for for Kate. Look what I wrote, Broadway. Thirty and flirty. Happy. Oh, don't you know what? Don't do that. An actress should never reveal. I already revealed it. Okay. It's already out the bag. All right. Well, then Chris is forty-five. Where is she? Here she comes. Does anyone have fire before Kate Lopez gets here? Here she comes. I know y'all smoke. I love her. Yay, Kate! Doesn't look a day over thirty. Over 30. Because <laughs> she's not a day over 30. Because I'm not. Uh-huh. Happy, Happy birthday, 
episode four um we're about to start our last show of the week i'm gonna have some cake um because it's like grocery store cake which is the best um and um get ready and do a show so thank you guys for watching episode four and i hope you enjoyed everything next week we're going to interview kate um the birthday girl because uh, we're doing boy girl boy girl and she's the only girl left um, before the swings, but we're going to do them separately. So, um, so tweet your questions for Kate. Um, she's been in quite a few Broadway shows as well and, um, plays a lot of characters, but mainly Allison. And, um, yeah. So, we hope you have a good week and keep watching Kiss and Tell. And if any of you want to send your friends over to see our show, we'll be happy to have them. Bye!